Hello and welcome back, I'm Statman Dave and today we're going to be looking at what's next for Maurizio Pochettino. Remember to subscribe if you're new, like the goddamn video and turn the notification bell on. And this video is brought to you with Coral, but anyway, let's get this party started. After five and a half years as the manager of Spurs, where he transformed the club into a consistent Champions League contending side, improved players and worked on a shoestring budget as he oversaw a move to a new stadium, Maurizio Pochettino was sacked in November and has been replaced by Jose Mourinho just 11 hours later. So what's next for the Argentinian tactician? Before we dive into the teams, let's talk about philosophy. Pochettino favours a high-pressing vertical tiki-taka system that can be deployed across a number of shapes, including a 4-4-2 diamond, a 3-4-2-1 and a 4-2-3-1. Regardless of the shape though, Pochettino's system always features a playmaker, a ball-carrying midfielders, flying fullbacks to hold the whip and allow the attackers to narrow in the final third. You can imagine his philosophy will follow him to his next job. Pochettino has been linked with jobs at Arsenal, PSG, Manchester United, Real Madrid and a whole host of other top European sides. But Today, we're going to be looking at some of the favourites to see which is best suited for the Argentine's next job. First up, Paris Saint-Germain. The undisputed French champions would be an interesting challenge. Their squad could easily handle the variety of shapes Poch would look to use, with Marquinhos a key player to in-game flexibility, who could start in defensive midfield whilst facilitating a back three if the need arises. The attacking talents could work wonders with the ball, but I wonder whether the likes of Mbappe, Neymar and Icardi would press with the intensity Poch insists on. This could pose an interesting dilemma and could see maybe Poch adapt his tactics to allow this, furthering his managerial ability. Regardless, I don't think there's enough midfield energy, with a midfield trio of Marquinhos, Verratti and Parades not enough to compensate for the attackers. Even pushing Marquinhos into a back four and bringing in maybe Adrissi Gay or Ander Herrera wouldn't be a long-term solution, with the pair both turning 31 next year. On top of that, PSG are looking to win the Champions League, a tournament fairly unfamiliar to Pochettino despite making the final with Spurs last season. So I don't think PSG are the right club for Pochettino's next job, but maybe in the future. He's always mentioned that he wants to return to PSG where he was as a player. The next heavily fancied team are Real Madrid. Los Blancos have been linked with Pochettino for years now. But I do think their transfer philosophy is far apart from what Pochettino does so well, bringing young talented players such as Adele Alli and bringing them to the peak. But if Pochettino were to move to Spain, there's a club I'd rather see him take charge of, Barcelona. The Catalans are continuously looking for a modern evolution to their tiki-taka style. Current manager Valverde should be doing far better with the squad that he's got at Barca at the moment. The current squad could absolutely flourish under Pochettino. The starting 11 could fit seamlessly switching between a back three and a back four system aided by a single substitution. Sergio Busquets could further his career at Barcelona becoming a halfback, a centre-back defensive midfield hybrid, playing in defensive midfield with a back four but dropping in between to make a back three should the opportunity arise or the need to change the game and it would mean they wouldn't be competing for Frankie de Jong's best position that is defensive midfield. With Pochettino building a system at Barcelona, the Catalans would be in a better position for when they inevitably lose Lionel Messi to father time. Needing to replace a role in a system, albeit a very important role, instead of the needing to replace the entire system itself, i.e. give the ball to Messi and he'll save us all. Pochettino at Barcelona would be beautiful, but it will almost certainly remain a beautiful fairy tale considering Pochettino was a former player and manager at their fierce rivals Espanyol. But the most sensible move for Pochettino would be taking the job of Bayern Munich. Bayern are looking for a new modern identity and Pochettino has this. Their club philosophy is very much in line with what Pochettino did at Spurs, developing local domestic talent into top quality internationals. At Spurs, he turned Danny Rose, Harry Winks, Eric Dyer, and Kieran Trippier into England internationals and Dele Alli and Harry Kane into England stars. At Bayern, the Bavarians could continue to hoover up top German talents, knowing that Pochettino would give them a 
a fair crack in the starting 11, which would only be good for the German national team. And this relationship would be great for Pochettino as well, with Bayern Munich enabling him to almost guarantee two trophies per season whilst getting more experience in the Champions League. What's more important is tactically. Bayern's squad is almost tailor-made for Pochettino. If we line Spurs up in their best 11 under Pochettino, with a sweeper keeper, two ball-playing defenders, attacking fullbacks, a controlling and carrying midfielder, an inside forward, second striker, a playmaker and a deep-lying forward. You can almost match that up with Bayern Munich's first team. Neuer in goal, Schuler when fit, but Hernandez and Pavard in the meantime, Alaba and Kimmich, Thiago as the carrier, and either Martinez, Tolisso or even Goretzka as the controller, an inside forward, a second striker and playmaker in Gnabry, Muller and of course Coutinho, playing off a deep line forward in Robin Lewandowski. The players available could also see Bayern switch between systems mid-game to exploit weaknesses and nullify threats. It'd be amazing to watch a tactically fluid Bayern Munich under Pochettino go head to head with Julian Nagelsmann's RB Leipzig, who are possibly the most tactical fluid side I have ever seen. Moving to Bayern Munich would be the perfect next step for Maurizio Pochettino, evolving a European heavyweight into a true modern footballing machine. But anyway guys, what do you think? What do you think is next for Maurizio Pochettino? Let me know in the comments below. Any teams that I've missed out on, get into the comments below and I'll chat to you in there. I've been Statman Dave, subscribe if you're new. See you later. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel?